Summer is right around the corner, and both history lovers and knowledge-hungry students alike may want to learn about their local history this summer. Joining us now is Natalie Monahan, Executive Director of the Boone County Museum of History. Natalie, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. So first off, uh, something that really kind of caught my eye here, you guys are having a conservation lecture coming up, I want to say in just about two days. Could you sort of tell us about what that event is and sort of the, you know, historical relevance that the conservation brings to the state? Yeah, so uh, this Thursday, May 16th at 6 p.m. at the museum, um, the executive director of the Boone County Conservation District, Josh Sage, is going to be giving a lecture uh, titled The History, Mission, and Purpose of the Boone County Conservation District. And it's really significant because this is the 60th anniversary of the Conservation District. And um, Boone County's Conservation District was actually the first one created in the state of Illinois. So it's, it's very significant. I was just going to say, I mean, hey, they call Illinois the Prairie State. Kind of yep. crazy that the, you know, the oldest conservation prairie is actually in Boone County. So some pretty cool yeah. history even in itself there. Um, you know, you guys over there at the Boone County Museum of History are actually sort of trying to promote, you know, the restorations of these, you know, native prairies that are sort of dying, you know, out across the state. Um, but obviously you guys are sort of taking, you know, a closer look here in the county. So could you sort of tell us what state line organizations have helped um, sort of speaking through you guys with uh, restoring those prairies? Yeah, so um, in addition to the lecture, we're trying to work with the conservation district as much as possible to promote the work that they're doing to restore the native prairies. Um, and we're really hoping to host events with them in the future that will promote both of us. And, you know, our goal is always to bring more visitors to the county, whether that's to our museum, to one of the many conservation areas that Boone County has, or to everything else that Boone County has to offer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and of course, you know, there aren't only summer events sort of happening, you know, in May here. We're also going to be, you know, doing some summer events in June here. And I want to say coming up fairly shortly here um, is this uh, the art fair at the Funderburg House. Um, could you sort of talk to us about what that is and who's involved in that? Yeah, so uh, the art fair is a really great event that the Historical Society, um, the Boone County Arts Council, and the Belvedere Women's Club are working together to put on. Um, actually, from the 1960s to the 1990s, the Belvedere Women's Club hosted the art fair at Big Thunder Park, which is right across the street from the Funderburg House, um, and it was a really popular event, so we felt that it was time to bring it back and we have we're going to have lots of vendors we're going to have a kids craft area food trucks and a prize for the best of show artist and that's on june 9th from 11 to 3 p.m mm -hmm. yeah and then one more quick question here for you natalie before we wrap up you know in case anybody is interested in looking to volunteer their time where should they apply or uh, contact the museum uh, they can email us through the museum website, which is bcmuseumofhistory.org, um, or they can call us at 815-544-8391 to kind of get more information. All right. Well, that is all the time that we have for our interview. Natalie, thank you so much again for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. 